The Einstar is Shining 3D's newest 3D scanner, bringing professional scanning to the budget market. But how does it stack up against other scanners in the budget category? Today we're going to look at a similar scanner, the closest thing to a direct competitor that the Einstar has. Today we're going to look at Creality's CR Scan 01, a $700 scanner with some impressive capabilities that will give the Einstar a run for its money. The CR Scan 01 is about $250 less, and that's a big difference in this category. So the big question is, what does Einstar do to justify the extra dough? Well, in terms of specs, the Einstar definitely has the upper hand. For my testing, it seems that the Einstar has a little over twice the accuracy. That's 0.045mm to Creality 0.1mm. To be fair, accuracy isn't extremely important for the applications these scanners are meant for, and 0.1mm is fine. For resolution, these scanners are actually using different methods of measuring resolution. Einstar has a point distance of up to 0.1mm and the CR Scan 1 has a spatial resolution of 0.5 millimeters. If you aren't super familiar with these terms, basically it means that the Einstar has the potential to capture much more fine detail. Potential being the key word here, as point distance doesn't necessarily measure point density. But ambiguity has no place in a comparison video, so let's look at the scan results. Now let's talk about the user experience. My main gripe with the CR Scan 01 is the user experience. While Creality software has many of the same features, its user experience is lacking in some aspects. Long processing times after each scan make it very inconvenient and time consuming if you need to reposition your object a lot. The data editing tools are also inferior, but still present and usable, which is more than I can say about a lot of other companies scanner software, which usually requires you to use external software. There are no buttons on the CR Scan 1, so when using as a handheld scanner, adjusting brightness and stopping and starting scans isn't as convenient, which can be a real pain when your object has areas that need different brightness settings. Which is important because the CR Scan 01 seems to be very picky about its brightness. If it's not perfect, the texture will be very discolored and the tracking will be very bad, whereas Shining seems to be a little bit more forgiving. The shortness of the scanner cable paired with the further distance requirement for scans makes some situations with the CR Scan 1 awkward. However, if everything is set up ideally, the scanning is actually just as smooth and swift as the Einstar. One point I have to give to the CR Scan 1 is that it doesn't require regular calibration, which is nice, but sometimes it seems like Shining has thought of everything, and the result is an easy to use and more refined product. Whereas the CR Scan 1 sometimes seems like it was designed as a tabletop scanner first, and the handheld scanning is just an extra feature. The tabletop fixed scanning mode is easy and intuitive, but the handheld mode requires more practice. And for that, Einstar wins in terms of user experience. That brings us nicely into features. Here are the noticeable differences. As previously mentioned, CR Scan 1 has fixed scanning, like fully automated turntable fixed scanning. All equipment needed is included too, which gives Creality a big advantage when it comes to quickly scanning small objects and also increases its value by a lot. Though the Einstar still has higher quality small scans even if the process isn't automated like the CR Scan 01. In fact, objects less than 5 inches can be a bit hard to scan with the Einstar, usually requiring additional equipment like a turntable or tedious workarounds. This alone will make the CR Scan a tempting choice for some applications as the fixed scanning requires no skill and minimal effort. Einstar, on the other hand, has infrared scanning, which enables outside scanning and open-eyed facial scanning, as well as hair scanning. Along with that, it also has multiple tracking modes, which expands what is possible to scan. Sometimes you just need markers, and its software has a few more data editing tools and more post-processing options. Basically, while Einstar doesn't have any fixed scanning, Nothing beats Shining 3D software features and user experience, and infrared scanning opens many doors that LED scanning leaves closed. So here's my summary. I think both of these scanners are good value prospects. Even though the Einstar is about $250 more, the Einstar is going to be a more premium option that will deliver higher quality and easier scans. However, for a lot of people, the CR Scan 01 will do the job for cheaper, and won't get enough out of the Einstar's capabilities to justify it. In fact, those primarily interested in scanning small objects and fixed scans in general might even see the CR scan as a better option regardless of price. 
I probably wouldn't use the CR Scan 1 for any scans intended for engineering or prototyping use, because its beautiful color texture is really what makes the scans look good, not so much its geometry. If you really want to use the handheld mode or are interested in infrared scanning capabilities like hair and eye scanning, I can confidently say the Einstar justifies its price tag. In fact, it could justify a much higher price tag. Either way, both are solid choices for a budget scanner, depending on your needs and what you prioritize. Thanks for watching.